All hail the mighty cuckoo. What's up, everyone? This is all Destroyer 229, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Sure, double spin attack. HD. Last time, we went around a fair amount of Hyrule trying to find something to bring Ilya's memory back. Our search brought us to the hidden village here, and we managed to get Ilya's charm. In this episode, we're going to return Ilya's charm, but wait, what the? Why can I not transform into a wolf? Why can I not transform into a wolf? Why can I not transform into a freaking wolf? <gasps> I guess I can't transform in this area? Because <gasps> there's no one here. There's absolutely no one here. We should be able to access that. Okay. That was... Okay. That was weird. That was really weird. I don't know why the game wouldn't let me transform back into Wolf Link. It's working now, though. Well, whatever. Now that we're here, we can listen to the Howling Stone. Hmm, this one's a little tricky. Let's give it a go. I almost got it. Let's try it again. Let teachings of old pass to you. Take sword in hand and find me. And we've unlocked the final technique, which is over at Hyrule Castle. I am not sure if we can actually reach that. I mean, I can check. <laughs> but, but I have a very strong feeling that we can't actually get that technique at this point in time. But you know what? Doesn't matter right now. That is not the right button I wanted to press for right now. We need to head on over to Kakariko Village and give Ilya back this charm. So let's get going. Back. And I have something for you, Ilya. I... 
I knew you once. Yes, this feels so familiar. The scent of hay? Long ago, when we were young, you and I... You were always there. You were always beside me. Link! This gift was meant for you. It was something I wanted to give you before you left on your journey. <laughs> Please, Link, take it. And we get a horse call. And of course it's primarily for Epona, considering Ilya made it. But with this item, we can now call Epona to us whenever we want. We don't need to find those pieces of grass anymore. Now Epona is at our command whenever we need her. You don't need to worry about me any longer. Whenever you return, I'll be waiting for you. Remember what I was saying about the Rod of the Heavens? Well, actually, it was about the messenger to the heavens who held the rod. The nice woman who saved me told me about it. Apparently, in this woman's village, they've guarded something for the heavenly messenger for generations, so they await him. But they can't give this item away until the messenger arrives with the rod. That's why the lady couldn't leave her village, you see. Say, Link, do you have any idea who this messenger to the heavens might be? Or even what the rod is? Actually, yes. I think I do. And I think that might be exactly what we need right now in our quest for the mirror. But Ilya is safe, and she has her memory back. That acquaintance of Telma's is in the cellar right now. He's very interested in that ancient statue down below the sanctuary. Really? Okay, let's head down then. There's not really much that we can do, but we can at least talk to him. Hey there! Oh my! Color me surprised if it isn't Link! Oh, what a coincidence! Meeting you in a place like this. How very odd. Say, old boy, do you remember what I told you before about the legend of the sky beings known as the Uka? Yes, well, there's something about it that's been bothering me, so I came here to snoop about. Think that you would appear here with such perfect timing. You really are a rather extraordinary fellow, aren't you? I found it at long last. Observe this statue. It's the same as the one in the manuscripts my dear father left me. There are many similar statues around Hyrule, but this one seems to be different. Here, look at the belly. There's something written there, you see? This too is in my father's notes. It's called sky writing, I believe. Awaken us with the word that breaks the seal. Yes, indeed, that is what it says. Wait a moment. Isn't that Ilya a friend of yours? It's simply tragic how she lost her memory. It was, but she has it back now. And that rod of the heavens she mentioned, I'm sure would has something to do with the word that breaks the seal. Isn't there any way to restore her memory? I'm certain it would help us figure this all out. 
I am one step ahead of you. Although not two steps ahead. No, there are still other things that we need to do. And that involves heading back to the village. Now that we're back in the hidden village, we didn't quite realize that that one was looking for a rod to the heavens. Oh, hey, there's cats everywhere now. However, we do possess a rod that belonged to the Uka. And so, since they are the people of the, well, sky, this should be what we need to bring power back to the Dominion Rod. Man, there's a lot of cats here! Hello there. You certainly have a very large family of felines. Is that girl doing all right? I haven't much to offer, but please make yourself comfortable here. Well, I have something that maybe you could help me out with. Does this seem familiar? That rod? Is that the Dominion Rod? It is. Uh, could it really be? Are you the messenger to the heavens? Among the legends of my clan, there is a story from the time when the Uka still maintained contact with the royal family. Yes, it is said that a mysterious rod was handed down from the people of the sky and was called the Dominion Rod. The rod was only to be carried by the messenger to the heavens when the royal family needed to communicate with the Uka. From generation to generation, my ancestors have guarded the book that, by royal decree, was to be given to the messenger to the heavens. Oh. This is that book. Please, take it. We get an ancient sky book! Hooray! The crucial word is still missing. This book was written by the ancient language of sky writing. I'm so glad I stayed in this village. If I had not met that young girl, what would have become of me? Right. Meaning that girl must have been ordained by the gods so that I could be here today to pass on this knowledge. Well, thank you very much. Oh, I wonder if there... Uh, whatever. I think there's something more that we can do here, but we'll probably come back here later. Anyway, onwards to our next destination. Since we have a book about knowledge of the sky people, what better to take it than the person who's researching them? Alright, so let's go ahead and do that and show it to our friend here. Oh, what's this? Ah, it's sky writing! Where in blazes did you get this? You don't suppose this could be the word that breaks the seal? Right, let's try it out. No reaction. So it is not this statue. Ugh. Link, thanks ever so. You've brought me one step closer to solving this puzzle. I shall give the book back to you. Now, I shall try out this word on other statues. I've made the rounds of these statues so many times that I've memorized their locations. Go place marks on your map so you can find them. Come find me in case you have questions. Remember, every one of these marks is near an owl statue. Now, if you'll excuse me. Magic reset word! So yes, the word that our friend, uh, whose name escapes me right now, stated was not meant directly to change the owl statues. That was meant to recharge the Dominion Rod. <laughs> Writing on the book was a spell that imbued the staff with magic! Now you can do to the other statues we did before. So, he did say he would mark your map whenever there was a statue, didn't he? Then we should go check out those spots, right, Link? 
Exactly. So now that we finally have this back, we can now actually interact with these owl statues scattered throughout Hyrule. Though I'm not sure we can actually... Yeah, I don't think... Well, actually, hold up a sec. I see stuff behind it. That's... Weird. I, I can definitely see stuff behind this statue. Um... Is there something else that we need to do? Maybe there's something else that we need to do. I don't know specifically about this statue. Unless... Hold up. It seems different from the other statues because there's this mark right here. Uh, well, one in doubt. Use bombs. I don't think we can do something here, but you can clearly see stuff behind that spot. Yeah, well, it was worth a shot. Okay, so I don't think there's anything we can do with this owl statue in particular. At least, not right now. But we can head on over to other owl statues that have been marked on our map, and we can interact with those. So now, we can actually go about and start interacting with these things that are scattered throughout Hyrule. We are not going to be able to get to... There we go. We're not going to be able to get to all of them right away or by the time we finish this episode, but we can at least get a few of them. And see where we go from there. Our first and probably only location that we're going to get to today involves us going on over to the Bridge of Elden. We can see that there are flags scattered all throughout the map. And we're going to need to go to each and every single one of these locations. So, first things first. Get rid of you. Okay, he kind of had a pretty long death animation. But there's an owl statue right here. So we take our dominion rod and breathe life into this. Okay. And we can see there's actually a character here. So we found a sky character. So this is primarily what we're going to be doing for our next portion of our journey. We need to find the sky characters that we then have to give over to our friend, whose name still escapes me right now. So we need to be able to find these locations and then be able to transcribe the character into our book. Now, I don't believe there's any other significance for this owl statue. I don't believe so. That definitely seems like it's hiding something, but I don't think it is. Well, whatever. At any rate, that will do it for this episode. So, next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. HD. With power returned to the Dominion Rod, we can now interact with these owl statues and be able to get more of these sky characters. We're gonna need them if we're going to have any chance of getting into the sky. Or the heavens. Or whatever the heck they call it. However, it is imperative that we get to these different flags and get these characters for reasons. They're not entirely clear right now, but you know what? Our friend might be able to help us if we can get all these characters. So until next time, everyone, take care. <laughs>